Hey there, Postal here. Today we are going out and getting mission number four. It's destroying at least eight enemy aircraft in a single battle when defending sectors, taking out the Yak-15. Great plane built for that purpose. Let's take a look at how it goes. Alright, so we're taking out our trusty Yak-15. Normally for these types of missions, I'd actually take out the A7M, but I feel like I haven't taken the Yak-15 out in a while. What's so good about the Yak-15? Well, it is the turniest plane at this tier, and that always helps when you're in these kind of situations, right? I'm actually going to just make a straight beeline, so it's really early, so we don't even have any... it's all bots. Uh, the previous battle was a bunch of humans, so I don't know where they all went. I was kind of surprised that there was a bunch of people early on a Thursday morning, but there was, and then now they're all gone. Uh, and unfortunately, the last battle wasn't all that interesting. So, maybe that was it. Maybe they weren't interested anymore either. Let's go ahead and just head to the center here. I'm going to head to this center part because I don't care about the wind. I just want to get the defense kill, so I want to get this sector. I know that their planes are going to be coming this direction relatively often, and so I want to take advantage of that. Get this sector as quickly as possible. Cool, now I can start working on the enemy aircraft. I actually forget if I, I because it's still locked. Does this count as a defense kill? It does not. So let's we're gonna have to wait till the sector's unlocked in 15 seconds. Gives me some time to not get shot out by enemies. Good. Take a uh, sip of some big coffee. We have four seconds, so we can start. Uh, they all left. How dare you all leave? Looks like there's a couple of fighters over here. Yep. Still got my boost ready. There's literally a couple of fighters over here, okay. Cool, engine got knocked down. So that's a nifty trick. So my, my cannons are centrally located, whereas those are on the wings. I can dodge the shots, or at least a decent amount of the shots, by turning sideways, and I can still be shooting him. A little bit different with the key because there are some centrally located cannons on that particular plane. But, yeah. Hope that makes sense. Basically, the shots are going to be going around my plane more often than not, especially when you're going head on versus Spitfires and things of that nature. Uh, P 51s going against German planes is hit or miss because a lot of them have hub mounted cannons. Do not want that. Of course, there's not a scary plane, but I'm on really low health. So it doesn't need to be scary to kill me. We're at three defense kills. This is the only sector captured, too, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I want them to be capturing sectors. I don't want this to be a steamroll. I need the game to, you know, continue on. I just really want to go head on versus him just because I do need to save some as much points as I can, so I'm going to wiggle in here. Beak. Fortunately, now they got both planes inbound here, so there's the fourth defense kill. Get rid of this guy. Well, he's still in the sector. Um, looks like he was just outside the sector. In fact, we're kind of playing with just at the edge here, which is not what I want to be doing. Let's get further into the sector. Let's drag them in if I can without dying. use the terrain there to my advantage. The closer you are to like the mountains and things, the uh, harder it is sometimes for the enemy to hit you, human or not.
unfortunately when you're in these kind of situations, very often you'll get, you know, air defense aircraft taking the kills and things of that nature. So you really gotta just like take some chill pills and realize that sometimes you'll play this mission, it's gonna be super easy. Like right now it seems like it's gonna be pretty easy. But at any moment I could be killed. Um you know, my air defense aircraft can start taking the kills. And that can get frustrating and it's like, oh well. Actually, I just took an air defense aircraft kill there, so good on me for that one. Ain't too proud. Ooh, ow. Did get my eight kills though right before the key, uh, key 84 killed me. Oh, it was key 94, excuse me. Those 30 millimeter cannons, man. Do not mess around, do they? All right, so we've got the we've got the mission that we need to get. I mean, we're not even halfway through the the battle, so that's awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just make sure we don't lose the battle. Now, you know what? I'm in the mood to to just uh, yeah. Let's just overwhelm them at this point. Let's just go to the center here. We've got our our mission completed at this point. Let's go ahead and get this bat match over with. We've got to think of flying vanguard after this, so. Yeah, but let's get working on the flying vanguard, huh? And that's the thing. So the last battle I played in this, so I've played two battles this morning. The last battle I played, the enemy team didn't do anything. A bunch of humans didn't do anything. It's like a complete steamroll. Um, I was kind of sort of close to getting the, the eight. I got like five and then I got killed. And because, ooh, um, because the enemy team wasn't really doing anything, we were already at air supremacy, and the game was was just over. So, just be what it be. Sometimes, right? Everybody's moving away from me. XP seventy-two. Got a better chance of them coming back at me. Let's get our engine cooling going here. I suppose ten. Oh, actually, this could be really bad. I didn't think he'd kill the bomber that quickly. I can easily outmaneuver him, but it's got some fearsome firepower on the front of that thing. Basically, it's an F-86 on the front of that, just different layout on the guns. Not that the F-86 is fearsome, but I mean, a tier 8. Could be, right? Um, Alright, they got that sector. Let's just go over there. Just gonna say what's going on. What are you thinking? The game's almost over anyway. Try to get some more kills. Even though this is outside of a sector, I mean, it kills if you want, right? Maybe two sectors. The game's still over, so I'm just gonna try to get some last second damage here. Yep, and that's it. GG bots. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the assist there. Thanks for making it easy, right? Uh, but that being said, even when it's not an all bot game early in the morning, that's still going to be your mentality. It's not about the win, right? It's about defending a sector. So get a sector that you know that the enemy is going to continue to bumble into. And be in a plane that you know you can defend the sector uh, by yourself as much as possible. Hey, look at that. We got a standard supply crate out of it. Crate out of it. 18 kills, 5,000 aerial damage. Only two sectors captured because, yeah, that's all we were doing. We didn't care. We got our eight defense kills. And like I said, this is the kind of plane you want to be in, in my opinion. A plane that can that can capture a sector, but its main role is going to be to defending the crap out of that sector. So typically, it's going to be the more maneuverable planes. It's really a maneuverable plane that you're comfortable in. So if that's a Spitfire, Zero, Yak, whatever whatever floats your boat. I specifically pick the Yak-15 because A, I haven't played it in a while. And B, it's maneuverable, but with reasonable firepower. There's some really, you know, the lower tier Yaks are, are not very strong. Uh, we've got pretty weak firepower. The AK-15 is finally where it's at least decent enough, right? So we've got that going for us. So that was mission four. Now we're going to be moving on to the Flying Vanguard badge. This is a sector capture badge. Multi-role fighters, bombers, and ground attackers can get that. In fact, I think I got it in my previous video with the bombers and ground attackers. So maybe we'll try to get it with the multi-role fighter this time. We'll see. I don't know yet. You'll have to wait and see. Have a great day. Bye.